We hope you enjoyed the solar charger kit. There are two parts to this kit. First of all, making a solar powered car, and secondly, using a clock to measure for how long the sun shines. Let's start by making the car. Here are the components you need to make the car. You need some equipment from previous test tube kits and a small screwdriver. Take the motor from the generation game kit, unscrew it and using a small screwdriver push off the little cog. Push the white worm gear onto the motor shaft. One end of the worm is slightly tapered. Push this end on first. You don't have to push the worm all the way onto the shaft. In this photo I've actually got the worm the wrong way around. It's important to get it right. Fix the motor to the gearbox using the two little screws. The worm should fit into the cog. Place the gearbox at one end of the plastic sheet and using your screwdriver mark and make holes where the fasteners need to go. Push the two fasteners through the holes and open them up underneath the plastic sheet. The white wheels push onto the axle as shown. The CDs are actually the wheels. They can be hard to clip on. You might need to take the white centers off first. This is a three-wheeled car. The yellow wheel goes in the center. With scissors cut a piece out of the sheet to make room for the wheel. See here I've also begun to push the front axle through the sheet. I found the yellow wheel was too tight and had to make the hole a bit bigger to take the axle. I've used a little screwdriver. A nail, screw or even a kebab stick would do. Push the axle through one side of the sheet then through the wheel and the rest of the sheet. Make sure the wheel turns easily. Take great care with the solar panel. If it has a plastic covering, peel this off. Fit the wires through the little holes in the motor's flanges. Bend the wire to give a tight fit. Occasionally we've known the wires to break off the panel. If this happens, just use your crocodile leads. Here I've coiled the long leads under the panel. Now it's time to race it. If you can't wait for bright sunshine, use a powerful lamp indoors. Sometimes the gears stick at first. Lift it and turn the worm while shining the light on it. What will you do if it goes backwards? You could experiment by taking the rechargeable battery from a previous kit and charging it up using the solar panel. Then you could connect that battery to the motor on the car you then wouldn't need the sun to drive it. In the second activity of this kit you can use the solar panel and the clock mechanism to measure for how long the sun shines. Here are your clock components. We haven't added in an extra CD but I'm sure you can find an old one or make a clock face out of cardboard. Put the CD onto the clock mechanism and then the rubber washer on top. Add the brass washer and then the brass nut, doing it up tight, and then push on the three hands. Use your crocodile leads to connect the solar panel to the back of the clock mechanism.